Hello, welcome to a, another episode of the Arcane Kitchen. Today uh, I have a good recipe for you. I decided to go ahead and do some fantasy style cooking. So today we're going to make dragon tongue in a blood sauce. So to, you know, to do this recipe you're going to need, well right here I have some smoky paprika, that's optional, salt and pepper, and then I have three cups of a cranberry pomegranate juice. And uh, I like this one, I like the color. After it comes out, it just gives a nice red, dark red kind of color to it. And then also I have some chuck tender steaks. And what I did with those is I just cut those to look like a tongue. And I seasoned them with salt and pepper. And at the end I just put three slits. That way it looks like it's been just ripped out of something's mouth. Now a good way to do this Just take your steak, and you want to cut it at an angle. So that way, you have two pieces. And then you just want to trim off the fat. your slits in the back. Kind of give those a squeeze. Just kind of tear them a bit. Like I say, that way it gives it the more just torn out look. Now you don't have to use the chuck tender steaks. I just decided to use these. Uh, you can pretty much use any kind of steak you want. It's all just about getting it cut into a tongue shape. Like so. I just want to season those. A little bit of salt and pepper on both sides, but also the reason I had the smoky paprika is I figured, well, if I'm doing fantasy style cooking, what would a dragon tongue taste like if the dragon could breathe fire? So, I'm going to put just a bit of the smoky paprika on both sides of a couple of these, or however many you want. You could also use something like chili powder, something spicy. I just really like the taste of this. Now, now once you have your plate of tongues, what you want to do first is you want to get your juice into a skillet. I'm just going to use a small skillet here, it's about a medium size. And you want to get that to a boil. And you want to let that reduce down about two thirds. That's going to take about 15 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and get that started and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what that, you know, what that's going to start to look like, and then we're going to go ahead and put our tongues into the skillet, and we're going to get those cooked up. So I'll see you in just a bit. All right, welcome back. Uh, I've been letting this juice reduce down, and it's probably been about, I don't know, I'd say about 20 minutes. You can see that it is reduced down by quite a bit, but it's still not there yet. And as it reduces, of course, it's going to get a little bit thicker. And this juice does have a pretty high sugar content, so it does stay hot for a long period of time afterwards, but when it does start to cool, it's going to thicken up. So it's going to thicken as it stands. So just keep that in mind too as you let it boil down. Don't let it get too far because if you let it boil too long, it's just going to be too thick to do anything with. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get our tongues cooking. 
So I'm going to put a little bit, a couple tablespoons of olive oil to my skillet. I'm going to turn that up on the high heat. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to sear the outside on each side. And we're not going to cook them too long. If you cook them too long, they might be a bit too hard. So that's going to keep heating up. Like I say, you just want to get your tongues ready. I think they look pretty good. Now you can make these for a party, for your kids. Just make up a good story. You know, how you just got a new, new batch, a new shipment in. It's something fun, you know, use your imagination. quite a bit with them. You want to just watch your sauce. Now I like the taste of the sauce how it is. I don't put anything else in it, maybe a little bit of salt and pepper, but if you want a little bit more of a meatier flavor, you can put in some stock when you first bring it to a boil, or you can reduce some stock down and make, you know, make like a demi glace and throw that in. You know, and what you're looking for here is you're looking for since it is so hot, you're looking for a thinner nappe, and that's just when you stick in a metal spoon and you pull it out, you want it to coat the back. But like I say, I said before, it will be thicker after it starts to cool. So I'll show you a good consistency when it starts to get down around there. Now you're just looking for the oil to be hot enough that when you throw the tongues in, it just starts to sear. And once, you know, when you put them in, there's a chance that it might stick. So when you shake the skillet around, they're going to be stuck where they're at. It's okay, don't worry about it. You know, that's supposed to happen. When it's, when it's time and they're brown evenly on that side, they'll unstick themselves. And that happens at a little over, I think it's 300 degrees, the Maillard reaction. So we just want to keep an eye out for that. So this looks like it's pretty close. So you just want to take your tongues. See, oh, this is starting to stick to the back of the spoon a bit more. Actually, it's probably a decent time to go ahead and shut that off. Gonna add just a little bit of salt. Pepper. Nice browning like this. You just want to flip those over and do it to the other side.
nose are about done. Want to go ahead and take those out. Cut into them. Still have a little bit of pink on the inside. Now I'm going to serve mine with some mashed potatoes. It's a good choice. Take a little bit of your sauce. See how nice that thickened up? So I'm going to put a little bit of sauce around the plate. And there it is. That's your dragon tongue with the blood sauce served with herb mashed potatoes. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you give this recipe a try. Tell me what you think. And if you have any ideas of something you'd like to see me try to make or a good fantasy idea, just go ahead and leave it down in the comment box. Subscribe, you know, and uh, just keep your eye out and I'll have some more videos soon. Thank you.